Hello, hello guys. Once again, welcome to Samantia Farms. And today I have the best news ever for you. So don't go anywhere. Stay tuned and listen to me to the end. Because if you're a farmer in Ghana, you might want to hear this news. But before I go ahead and share this amazing news that I can't wait to share with you guys, I want to say a big thank you to all of you that have been supporting this channel, sharing it with your friends, helping us grow. I was just literally reviewing, um, you know, our growth over the past year, even though my team and I have put in the work and uploaded enough videos and interesting topics you guys have also been so supportive with your comments likes and subscription so i don't want that to go unappreciated so i want to say a big thank you and if you're one of those guys who always watch me and never comment or like or share please help us help us grow so go ahead and smash that like button or hit the subscription button and don't forget to also click on the notification bell so that anytime we release any video about how to improve agriculture in Ghana you guys will be notified and will be able to come online and be able to watch so thank you guys so much for all the support um, just a little bit of update our first batch of the boa goat just arrived in Ghana today so my team is doing a video on it. I'm going to share with you guys. Um, and thank you all those of you who have joined me in this journey to bring the good breed um, to the country. It's amazing. Guys from Nigeria and guys from Ghana, thank you so much for trusting me um, and for us to bring this. Our next order is going to be in March. So if you're interested in the boa good, go ahead and WhatsApp us on the WhatsApp number below and order yours as well coming back to today's topic because guys i've had some good news to share with you a couple of months ago right i was still back in the u.s and my team actually reached out to me and said that some people from the government they didn't have enough information have come to say that the government is installing free solar panels in farms and small communities that doesn't have light so they have asked us to dig some holes at a certain location. So I was like, okay, let's go ahead and do it. So what happened is we dug those holes, they gave us some measurement and, and we put iron rocks, we casted it and put like, um, you know, sort of cemented it and with the iron rocks. And we've been waiting for a month now. And just yesterday, guys, just yesterday, they paid us a visit with, you know, poles for, 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 for the solar panels and we were able to engage with them further and this is a government sponsored program through the cocoa board in ghana really bringing solar panels to farms and small communities in ghana that doesn't have electricity this is amazing and i want to really share this information with you i know some of you are already picking your phone ready to call the government and be like where is my solar panel but i think i don't know the the concept around it i'm not sure about um which locations they are doing it but since it's Ghana my guess is that they are doing it in all communities so if they haven't got into your community you probably want to start researching on this poll I actually found a phone number and an email um, and also a website so if you're watching me from the US you have a land you have a farm you have a community um, sort of in the um, in any village right I want you to maybe reach out to them hopefully you can get more information about it by literally what you're doing is bringing solar panel that is able to bring light into your farm so if you're a poultry farmer definitely you and I know that lighting system is very important once you have power you'll be able to power your um, your pump to generate water you'll be able to have heaters at your farm and your day old chicks will be able to also sort of have um you know have light during the night and be able to feed so this is an amazing amazing um initiative and project that is going on in ghana and they just reached my farm and i'm very very excited i will bring in you guys update they say within the next three to four days they are going to come and install everything 
but they are just in a small town before my farm which I, my team have actually went there to confirm and see other people's project being completed so we are waiting for them at our farm and I can't wait to bring you the update on when they come to my farm and actually install it I don't think it's going to power all my machines that I use at the farm but at least it's going to bring you know some power to the poultry farm I wouldn't have to spend that much money on diesel which is what I use on um, the, the generator you know um, if I have light so that is really great I think one more of the important thing that I'm happy with is the fact that it's solar so we can power it at night we can leave our light on and the farm is not going to be dark right it's going to be bright it's going to prevent theft and it's going to even prevent a whole lot of issues that we have been facing at night so this is a great great initiative and I don't know whether it's solely the, the cocoa board which branch is coming from but I want to say kudos to the Ghana government in association with cocoa board and everybody that is behind this project and is making it a reality this is all what we can ask for we don't ask for anything aside good infrastructures, road, electricity, power things like this lay the right pipes so that we can be able to do our work and do it in peace so thank you so much to the Ghanaian government and if you're watching me I want you to write in the comments and, and let's all show our appreciation because these are some of the projects that is really going to innovate and help us to push to the next level because without electricity there are so many things we can do at our farm we can use internet, we can charge our phones, we can use electric car equipment so this is the first step towards innovation and I'm so happy because this year don't forget we are innovating and we are changing the perception and how farming is done in Africa so I'm glad that our first project is going to be with solar panel this is amazing so guys if you're in Ghana as I said reach the contacts that I'm showing you get in touch with them I'm not sure if they are the right people but I'm sure they could connect you to the people to speak to and find out if this is coming to your community as well but if not then at least I am the lucky one but I want to say a big thank you to you and I hope we all get it and we are able to start up build on this first step and develop more thank you guys so much for watching and if you haven't watched our video about the Boabo goat I'm gonna link it here you can go ahead and also watch it um, and learn more about this breed that we've started importing into Ghana See you next time.